In this video, I'm going to explain the Adjust It Winner procedure. So first of all, we're asked who gets the assets initially. So the asset goes to the highest bidder. So on the artwork, Hannah bid more than Sammy. For the business, Hannah bid more than Sammy. And for the house, Sammy actually bid more than Hannah. So now we want to find out how many points does each player get according to this allocation. So let's find the total. And Sammy has a total of 50, and Hannah has a total of 70. So Hannah actually has the higher total here. So we now are asked what further exchange of property is needed in order to equalize the allocations. And so we see that since Hannah is higher, Hannah's assets need to be transferred first. So we need to find the ratio of the assets that Hannah might need to transfer, which are the artwork and the business. And we always take the highest bidder's bid as the numerator. So we have Hannah in this case over Sammy's bid. So we now have for the artwork 40 over 30, which is approximately 1.33. And for the business, we have 30 over 20, which is equal to 1.5. Now, we know that the lowest ratio item gets transferred first. So that is the artwork in this case. So the artwork gets transferred first because it had the lowest ratio. So after the final real allocation of property, how many points does each of the players receive? So in order to figure out this final allocation, we need to find out what fraction of the artwork does Hannah have to transfer to make Hannah's allocation equal to Sammy's allocation so that Hannah and Sammy both think that they were treated fairly here. So we know that Hannah will get the business plus a fraction of the artwork, and that's the fraction that we're trying to figure out right now. And that has to be equal to what Sammy gets, and Sammy is getting the house plus a fraction of the artwork. So we know that Hannah bid 30 on the business, and she bid 40 on the artwork. And we're going to multiply that by the fraction of artwork that Hannah is going to retain. Now, we have Sammy's allocation, and he gets the house, which Sammy bid 50 on the house. And Sammy only bid 30 on the artwork. So we're going to multiply it by the fraction of artwork that... Sammy is going to get, and that's actually 1 minus the fraction of the artwork that Hannah is going to get, because whatever Hannah retains, Sammy is going to get. So now we need to solve this equation by distributing the 30. So 30 plus 40x will equal 30 plus 30 times 1 is 30, and 30 times x is 30x. We'll combine the like terms here. So we have 30 plus 40x will equal 50 plus 30 is 80. So 80 minus 30x. Now let's get the x's on the same side of the equation by adding the 30x. So we have 30 plus 70x equals 80. Now we'll need to subtract this 30 here. So 70x will equal 50. And we'll divide by 70 here. So x equals 5 sevenths, and that is actually, whoops, sorry about that. That is actually whose fraction of the artwork? Well, it's actually Hannah's fraction of the artwork. So we know that Hannah will get... 30 for the business, so we have Hannah at 30 for the business, plus 40 
times her fraction of the artwork, which was 5 sevenths, and that will equal to 58 and 4 sevenths. And we know that Sammy will get the house for 50 plus 30 times what fraction of the artwork he's retaining, which is 2 sevenths of it, and that is 58 and 4 sevenths as well. And I'll let you calculate those numbers on your own. But now that Hannah and Sammy are both getting 58 and 4 sevenths, then you would think that both of them would say that they are being treated fairly, and that is the adjusted winner procedure.